It's beginning in one minute, the 4.2 special program. There's 140, almost 140k viewers watching the stream. So hopefully we have no lag issues or anything like that. But yeah, we're going to be viewing the 4.2 special program and uh, seeing Farina, seeing Charlotte, seeing everybody and seeing, yeah, probably the end of the Fontaine Arc quest. I'm so, so excited. But yeah, here we go. The 4.2 special program beginning in Counter Down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. My dear citizens, just as the will of there the gods is, is <laughs> to the understanding of mere mortals, so too is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I love her voice. For the defendant. Yeah, sorry, I'm muted. I had the stream muted. I forgot to unmute it. My bad. Divinity, then you are compelled to provide an accurate account of your actions. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Now what's <laughs> next? <sighs> it's so hard to predict how people are going to react. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Farina, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, Nervilet! <laughs> <laughs> the god of justice it is only expected that i should remain informed of every trial and make the necessary preparations it, is there something that you need in <laughs> if you wish to seek an audience with me then please make an appointment she really does talk like fish up. that's probably why i like her so it. much <laughs> oh According here we go the four point two trailer the oh shit farina's crying be punished by a what the death sentence what <laughs> what a way to start marina's getting the death sentence the fuck you and i both know that there may be issues with the primordial sea everyone oh shit oh we are to be close new areas to and have oh yeah and that tower as well as the water levels rose they suddenly disappeared shouldn't gods be all powerful What's done is done. Just trust me. <laughs> is she eating desserts? Never mind whether you can truly. Hey, Furina! Let's go! Wait, she, she fights on top of a bubble? Oh my god, that's adorable. Wait, she has a mini ocean in her kit? Wait, that's a fucking. Oh, she has sea creatures fighting for her. That's actually fucking. <laughs> Hey, Charlotte! Ooh, this music, though! It's slapping! Is she literally taking pictures of her enemies? Oh my god, she is. <laughs> is she literally like Nahida with the camera? Oh, shit. There's something ominous about it. The water, I mean. The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Farina, oh shit! Will use this trial to show the world. Oh shit! The Are these new world bosses? This judgment is Holy shit! What the fuck is this thing? You, would call you have this never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself Your to be. No Lord. more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? So so long. Why did you deceive us? Oh shit! <laughs> this. This trade is getting intense. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon. To remember the floor that. will now this begin. This trial. Oh. Oh I fuck. I understand the true purpose behind this position. Please don't tell me that's like Farina getting beheaded or something. What the? F oh, the whale. Oh fuck! Child is free. Are we gonna be fighting the fucking whale? Oh, what should I do? Holy shit! The prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Ah! Hmm. Ooh, what? Ooh. Is that Skirk? Is that Skirk? This would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Oh shit! Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. That's ominous. 
Masquerade of the Guilty. Holy shit. What a fucking trailer. Hey, and there's your first redemption code. <laughs> Redeeming codes quick. What the fuck? Also, excuse the Twitch ads. What the fuck was that? Holy shit. Did, okay, first of all, was that Skirk at the very end? Because I don't recognize that, that woman in white. That's, that's gotta be Skirk, right? I feel like that is. And two, the fucking Hydra Archon's getting beheaded? Like, what the fuck? Why is Farina getting punished for? And three, the fucking whale escaping from the primordial sea. Does, what, does Nubilet let it free? Or, or is this some other reason? Oh god, and I, you can see the artwork right here, like the, the, the river's like flooding fontaine. Shit. Okay, so we know Chow breaks free eventually, but we might hey, have to fight travelers. that fucking whale. Welcome to the Genshin Impact Holy version 4.2 special program. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female Traveler. Hey, let's Lumine. go, Lumine. And I'm joined today by two guests. <laughs> and Ray Chase and Freeze VA. News for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right, yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Hey everyone, I'm Amberly Connors, the voice of Farina, and oh, I am super excited to be on this special program today. Uh, travelers <laughs> already met the Hydro Archon at the start of their journey in Fontaine, and as the story continues, how will this special god of Earth the Crisis foretold in the prophecy? <laughs> I really hope nothing bad um, happens yeah, to her. I, I like her character so far. I'm excited to see what happens next. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a Honkai character, sure like am. that character uh, at the I, end. Uh, uh, I'm at the edge of my seat. My name is Ray Chase, and I'm the. If that really is Skirt, then yeah, she does look a lot Lord like a Honkai character. Fontaine. I'm sure many of you already consider Nivellet a very trustworthy partner, and I hope you look forward to seeing more. Oh of yeah, trustworthy partner and too. Yes, insane for sure. DPS. Totally. Yep. Okay, so next, let's dive into the major content that we have coming in version 4.2. In the intro, Farina said we need to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, you know, she's really uh, busy as Fontaine's Archon, and she's a pretty big celebrity at the Opera House. I so, imagine the so. The special program team gave me an itinerary to follow, and it appears to show all of Farina's recent plans. Farina's recent plans? Let me guess. She's going to be going to trial, <laughs> and another trial, and then another. <laughs> trial after trial after trial. That's about right. <laughs> okay, the itinerary seems yeah, pretty Yeah, if the so trailer comes out later, we'll go back item. and like have a look at her like in the pause oh, screen. Looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. Head to the Opera Epicus and watch a trial unfold. to Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little bit Oh, uh, yep, Act 5. Ooh. Oh, why are they showing the... I know, I know. My I ideas have no sins, I must correct you. The people can bear no like, sins in the eyes of gods. Yeah, Only laws like, in the tribunal can judge someone. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wonder why they're showing mm -hmm. that. Like, you know, like the... Maybe also Nouvellette is keeping an eye on things the gemstone. from... The yeah. Behind the scenes, maybe? Very serious. He's always keeping an eye on stuff, and always just a little <laughs> bit disappointed. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Okay, in version 4.2, travelers will get to experience Act 5 of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Masquerade of the Guilty. We'll nice. team up with Fontanian friends to delve deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. Travelers will gradually unveil new hmm, facts. So, so it's the only crisis, one act. And encounter I evil wonder if this is the end of the, the Archon death. Quest then. Ooh. I know. Because didn't. I know. Samir had on Act yes. 6. <laughs> yeah, I could have sworn Samir had an um, Act 6. Right. So, you know, the prophecy in Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. And this is possibly the greatest crisis we've faced in our journey through to that. Definitely. In version 4.1, we learned about this precarious situation. Oh, yeah, Nuvelet's definitely crying Primordial some tears there. Nuvelet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede, but still, the water has reached Poisson. Luckily, the crisis oh, shit. is averted by Poisson? Nadia's leadership of the Spina Oh, Derosiva. fuck. Does that mean Navia's so, gonna dissolve? So, probably can't dismiss the assistance What is all Kina doing here? Either. Whatever her end goal may be, it seems like she sincerely wants to save Fontaine from the prophecy. But hmm. there's only so much that we can say. <laughs> Travelers will have to go and play through the version themselves to discover the clues, adventures, and stories to come. Yes, exactly. 
So be sure to play through, uncover hidden truths, and witness this epic chapter of Fontaine's history for yourself when Act 5 of the Archon Quest... Okay, since so it's only like one act, it Sounds makes good. me believe that, that so this isn't great. the end of the Archon Quest <laughs> of Fontaine. Mm. Have we forgotten a there might be an Act 6 and 4.3. ...missing from the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean child? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah about he him. He searched all over the fortress for him. <laughs> yep. I I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. <laughs> he's in the primordial sea. Just just spit it out already. It's it's very uh, obvious at this point that he's inside the primordial water sea. And it's the last version's Archon quest, so it probably won't be long until we see him again. Okay, okay. good. Mm -hmm. But we really need to talk about Farina. What? She's confronted Why? with a crisis. <laughs> Why? Because she's confronted with a crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Of course, Fontaine will have the traveler's help, but what choices will our Hydro Archon make in the face of the crisis? Uh, uh, hmm, good question. Well, <laughs> just like the prophecy itself, all will be revealed at the fated time. But knowing Farina, <laughs> okay, no spoilers. Have some preparations. Mm. Huh. Once again, disappointed. Oh, but... yeah. <laughs> no way. Come on, guys, have some faith. <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in Farina, let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind Archon. Yes, show us our kit. <laughs> Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? <laughs> <sighs> You must be stunned and at a loss for words. <laughs> God, that's a splash art? Looks it beautiful, is I, holy shit. All, Fontaine's most beloved star, Farina. I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're <laughs> lucky to even get an appointment with me. Oh yeah, does she like gosh. throw out summons? I love her outfit. Mm. Yes. Oh, and, and her eyes, like each of them are different. She's got these little eyes. Yeah, <laughs> like yes. don't she find a freaking octopus, oh, a seahorse, and hydro archon that she like other <laughs> like hydro animals she can summon? Oh, yes. <laughs> she just never does a fighting herself. <laughs> okay, you know what? It seems as if she's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. And speaking of drip. Let's take a look at her <laughs> combat ability. Speaking of drip, this is the way they actually said that. Speaking of drip. Being too popular can be such a hassle. Hey, look I at her. Knew the people would adore me so much. <laughs> Man, she's... Oh, oh, damn, that pose, though. Yeah, I'm, I can already tell I'm, I'm going to have lots and lots of fun with her. Oh, yeah, and the bow. That's super cool. Strike a pose. Hmm, is it me or is her, does her outfit look a bit darker than usual? And yeah, that's a burst? <laughs> for you, no, not for you, Charlotte's taking a picture of her. Whoa, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I like yeah, she like fights with a mini ocean like as well. Bells. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yes! Very much. It's like all of her moves are part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Also, look at her elemental burst. Her presence really fills the stage. Everyone mm. else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Wait, so the creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the Fontamer aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a yeah. seahorse, a crab, an octopus, and they are all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. <laughs> so Farina just <laughs> relies on the others oh to attack. Oh my gosh, no, the octopus is even wearing Her hair gets short? What a Does distinguished it? little gentleman. Um, a correction uh, here. Her so, outfit uh, changes oh, when you use her skill. Oh, really? Uh, no. No. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, they even help manage her daily affairs. Yes. So is she going to be <laughs> exactly. like an off-field so, DPS? Farina often invites guests to her tea party, which is known as the Salon Solitaire. And those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Solitaire. Aww. Mm -hmm. And she even gave each member a name. Aww. Oh my gosh. Aww. Yes. So pretty much so she, just, she sends our pets in to kill Madame the enemies for her. Crabaletta. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best. The crab. The one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, her her outfit looks a bit different than Sir her Andrew normally. Because she has like a white skirt going on here, but she doesn't have that in her splash art. And art-ard. the conferencier, gentilhomme usher. Oh. And that last one is a stickler for propriety. Oh, 
okay, okay. So when Farina said to make an appointment with Aww. the Dr. Shalom Ron, <laughs> she, she's playing with a seahorse. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Nah, that's I adorable. Didn't know it was so cute. Exactly. Farina even makes some <laughs> she's like a kid. in her idol animation. Oh my god. Also, please ignore yeah, the Twitch adorable. ads. Okay, I'm sure everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So, Amber, why don't you take it away? Tell us everything. Yes, you got it. Yay! So, Farina is a Hydro Sword user. Okay. Dude, look mm -hmm. at that. Oh, but she, she wow, she summons all three of them to Lucia attack? Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, her elemental skill invites the three members of the Salon Solitaire. Wow. Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Chevalmeron, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. It's so cute. So she has um, three summons. That's kind of insane. These, um, salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active character. Ooh. Their damage increases the more characters there are in the party over a certain Okay, so they attack whatever target Farina attacks or the okay, active character attacks. All that, but at the very <laughs> top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. So she has more than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Oh, she can switch between Farina's charged attack not oh. only deals physical damage, but also allows her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Ah, oh. so like kind of like well, a stance I mean, change. Thought, it seems like her Arca That's kind of cool. Effect on her other yeah, kill, as well. kill, kill yes, the crabs. Sure does. Farina. Farina's elemental skill changes depending on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. That's cool. That's, That's cool. Super cool. Uh, after Farina uses so her to change for charge to switch to a Numa Arca alignment, her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters. Oh, to healing to that's how you summon the Oceanid. Oh, nice. Yes. Hmm. The summons created by Farina's elemental skill will remain on the field for a period of time even after Farina is switched out. Farina's elemental burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. And yeah, show the burst. Yeah, she's like a leader for carnival or something like that. That's so cool. That's such a cool looking burst. <laughs> oh, yeah. And of course, they're going to pair her up with Nubilette. <laughs> so, um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style. Oh, she also boosts his healing bonus. Characters. Okay. Very showy and unpredictable. Totally. I can already see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. Yeah, for real. And um, due to her knowledge of deep water aberrants, Farina's passive talent can decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the xenochromatic Fontamer aberrants. Oh. Ooh. Wow, you can say that again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That so you can like spam her sk the skills more often. Oh yeah, that, that is noticeably faster. Oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna be using her for <laughs> water exploration. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> wow. Kokomi! So cool. Kokomi in skill form. Hey, um, I actually saw That's kind of cool, actually. Changes whenever she switches yeah, what's with the alpha oh, change? Yeah. yeah, good eye. You're correct. You. It does change. <laughs> but, you know, such is the charm of a celebrity, I suppose. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, so if you want to learn more about her, Ah, she's getting her own story quest sure as well. Nice. Her on her story quest, the Animula Kuraji Challenge. Okay, so I'm guessing her ah, stance amazing. changes along with her outfit. Okay. That way you so can figure out if you're for new one or we show. That's cool. Introduce. She's now able to join the Travelers Party. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really high. I'm definitely going to be playing for Farina Day 1. <laughs> That's right. It's Charlotte. Yay! Hey! Ooh, so cute. We've known Charlotte for a while now. The Traveler met her during the Summoner Summit event, which the took TCG them events, an yes. all over to that. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Charlotte's hard-hitting spirit and determination to uncover the truth really leave an impression, don't they? Yeah. That's right. During our journey in Fontaine, didn't she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a scoop about Ridesley? <laughs> Though she didn't end up getting the interview that she wanted in the end, huh? But hey, she got an interview in Nuvalette. She'll always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera can determine its. Can you actually use the truth, Charlotte's camera? <laughs> of her camera, Monsieur Verite just so happens to be her greatest assistant and companion. Oh yeah, that's the name of her camera. <laughs> she gave her Charlotte's camera a name. Her photography is truly a marvel. That's kind of no adorable. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. 
The peerless Monsieur Verité turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact, many Fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings. Oh, that's so cool. And Monsieur Verité is so cute, even as his old little head and tie. <laughs> I know. Charlotte actually commissioned We're not surprised if that camera's actually a sentient Fiori. being. She even commissioned Monsieur Verité's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that cute? Wow, oh. that is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verité. Yeah, yes, imagine that camera's really alive. Does. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's character showcase, shall we? Ooh, let's yes. do it. If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, oh. you'll find <laughs> she actually these whips out a newspaper. Just waiting to be discovered. Yeah, show her normal time. Yeah, she literally just takes photos of the enemy, and that's it. <laughs> and yeah, she's also cry catalyst, like Risley, I think. Say cheese. <laughs> Oh, you, oh, it's a, it's a hold mode as well. Oh, wow, and you can, like, summon multiple of them. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, she okay. is really, like, moving around. Yes! Honestly, I wonder how fun it would be to play. It, she seems very, very fun to play. Even her combat I just hope it doesn't feel, like, photos. all too clunky. Cool? Oh, yeah, and then, like, what a lively character. Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. They're super yes. dynamic. <laughs> it yes. seems like she's always on the move. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte is an expert at applying the skills and talents. Yes, yeah, kind of looks, looks like a like, like a like and subscribe pose in and a that way. That includes combat. With her trusty companion, Monsieur Verité, she captures enemies from all angles. Okay, so while that's her skill. All right. Weaknesses. Yeah. Honestly, I ah, would did they, they take cry damage over time? Okay. Famous reporters. Who knew cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know you could use them as a weapon. <laughs> Same. What do you know, I Apparently guess? Apparently you can for okay, Nahida and Farina. Not Farina, Charlotte. Skill applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder of her camera. During this effect's duration, marked opponents will intermittently take damage. Whoa. Holding Charlotte's elemental skill strengthens these effects and applies focused impression to opponents instead. Mm -hmm. Now her elemental burst creates a news flash field that continuously restores <laughs> HP to party members within its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also, also going to join and intermittently attack opponents during the duration of the ability. Okay. As an experienced so like, supporter, Charlotte kind of like a more offensive Diona burst to match the needs of her target. That's what when it seems like. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with non-Fontaine characters, she receives a cryo damage bonus. Oh. Now that is not what? all there is Okay, more. so you get different effects <laughs> based on <laughs> if event. your characters are Travelers Fontaine or not. Quests to receive a special gadget called the zoom lens. Ooh. Oh. Charlotte activates the zoom lens, it will trigger her passive talent called First person shutter. Oh my god. First when person you shutter. Oh my god. Skill, the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. Oh, that the, that, that's so kind of cool. cool. That she has yeah. a, like a unique. That is super rad. And you know, oh, that I is very, very cool. Some super cool pictures are going to come out. So you can take photos like mid combat oh, yeah. if you really, really want more to. More information about the zoom lens and how to use it. During the oh, I can already tell I'm going to be using Charlotte a lot just so, for that. Farina and Charlotte hey, there's your banners. The okay, good. Charlotte is on Farina's banner. Ooh. Yes. In the first half of and on Baiju's rerun as well. We'll have event wishes showcasing yeah, about time you got a rerun. Baiju. During this time, Charlotte will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Huge boost. I hope that's huge <laughs> enough for me to get at least one copy of her. Five star sword, splendor of tranquil water. Oh, yep, and this for a signature. In the weapon event banner. I'm not sure if I'll and give that to her. Sword. Maybe I'll just give her Ayato's sword <laughs> instead. And in the second half of version hey, 4. Hey, Saino and Ayato for some Sino reason. And Ayato. Hmm. Okay, let's take a I mean, look I guess it's been a while since Ayato had a rerun, but Saino? Hmm. It looks like she's investigating. Carry out an investigation. Oh, there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Okay, I will. It says strange <laughs> oh. oh, that's a wiki boss. All devouring narwhal. Oh shit! So we. Okay, so that's confirmed. The whale it's is the fucking already? wiki boss. Oh shit! Oh, look wow. At that. We're Whale. supposed to fight that it thing. Looks like it's in a sea of pink and blue stars. Oh my, that's that's, so that's oh, way I bigger than this well. I reckon that's, that's way bigger than Wait, Apep yeah, and Asha, yeah. right? Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's vision at the end. Yeah, of I think the it is. 4.1 yeah, yeah the, the one in Child's yeah. vision. It's the 
same one. After ravaging the Jesus way Christ is huge. Key, this otherworldly creature has at long last broken the seal and descended upon Fontaine. Ooh, oh it's it's a real big big. It uh, it feels like it might even. Jesus, this are we fighting inside the oh, primordial not. sea? Uh, I get <laughs> That's what it feeling, looks like. Uh, that this isn't the type of opponent that we can just brute force our way through, you know? Mm -mm. Exactly. In the first phase, it will use its gigantic size to target the traveler with massive AOE attacks from all directions. Ah, so don't don't get don't get close to it. Definitely your friend with this one. Oh boy. Um. Okay. 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 So they're also. Seems Holy to be shit! Sort it looks. It both looks majestic and threatening the at the same time. Mm, yeah. What's that for? Okay. Since we can't outfight it, we'll have to outsmart it instead. The creature just freed itself okay. from captivity and is brimming with anger. So oh. if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, perhaps you'll also find its weaknesses. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. Ah, oh my god. Me? That fucking attack it, looks. You literally go inside of it? Like that? <laughs> oh, you do. I guess here it is. You Ooh. literally go inside of it. This is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new enemy here. What the heck is that? A massive sword. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, these the hell? creatures also is that, look vaguely familiar to me. Is that I a, wonder what the deal the, is with all of them. What are the knights in Perhaps the chasm? Perhaps mysterious enemy within this space will be the key to defeating the whale. Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. Ooh, yeah, it looks like one yeah. of the like shadow husk all knights. All truth will be revealed in version 4.2. <laughs> well said. Oh, yeah, man. it totally this is a shadowy husk. Really, really tough. Um, what are what they doing inside if the we whale? For some reason can't defeat it. Ooh. Okay, this update actually helps with that problem. Oh. Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower the difficulty of the boss. If oh. travelers are struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Oh, during Hopefully main quest only. I'm not going to do that, but if you're struggling with it, you oh, can load it in difficulty I if you want to. That. Now we don't need to worry about getting stuck while trying to advance yeah. the main uh, story. I'm a chat. I'm not so going to lower the difficulty. <laughs> Hey, um, that was a lot of information, wasn't it? Only Chad's still lower difficulty. Short break while we have a look at the second redemption code, maybe? Yeah! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Let's do it! Yeah, it's a narwhal, apparently. Oh, yep, and there's a second redemption code. <laughs> Be sure to claim it before 12 hours go by, otherwise they'll expire. Little bacteria living inside the, the whale's mouth? It, it does what it seems like. I'm not sure what a, a shadowy husk is doing inside of the whale and why we're fighting it, but what, is the husk controlling the whale somehow? So if you piss off the whale enough, you go inside of his mouth, <laughs> is what I see in the in the boss fight. And then you find the thing that's inside of the whale. Holy shit. Hello, travelers. Welcome back to the version 4.2 special program. Hello. Okay, so we covered Hello. banners, characters, Yay. and story. So, so they're probably gonna go on to events. New plot lines and a new yeah, exactly boss. what I said. <laughs> but I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because there's still more to come. Let's yeah. take a look at what other information events. we can learn Let's from go. Marina's itinerary. Okay. Tour around Aside Fontaine. From investigating crises. It seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> hmm. Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? Hey, yep, we got the, the new area <laughs> of the tower. Well, you know, maybe she's just using it as an excuse to scout out a place for one of her tea parties. Oh. <laughs> Arena and excuses. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what the hell is that? Like is, an is that primordial water erupting from that? Mm. Also, what the heck is that tree? That's right behind the opera house. Oh, what behind the opera place? house? Mm. Although... It Whoa, that that, that, that like looks cool. Some secrets. <laughs> but dark? <laughs> Definitely wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. Things <laughs> are... Definitely not what they seem here. For example, strange things have been happening with the water veins around Loch Urania. Oh, I like the, I like that. See, the, like the wind effects coming out of uh, or like blowing on the trees. Rising from the middle of the lake. It's almost like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Oh yeah, what's Farina doing there, by the way? <laughs> and take a look at this. The fog. Oh, Farina's just everywhere, apparently. <laughs> that fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. But what about this area? <laughs> the weeping willow of the lake. Ooh, it looks that, cool. That's a cool it looking tree. Actually, it, it looks like the, the tree that was quite right. Mm -hmm. Like it's cloudy. It looks or like something. the tree that's like in that? the in yeah. the chasm. Exactly. Almost. It seems like Except it's not mushroom. Also realized something was off. 
looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh -oh. Ew. Ew. <laughs> There are always new things to discover beneath Fontaine. Okay, waters. so I guess it's a, this this like another puzzle. We'll encounter a new oh type shit, of water gun attacks. The xenochromatic ball octopus. Ooh. Travelers can borrow its abilities oh. to cleanse away the contamination so and squirt on our enemies. from the bacterial mats. Pretty cool. In addition, with the help of a special device, travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as well. They may be the key to solving certain puzzles ah. or perhaps even powering certain objects. Oh wait, we'll you can use it on land as well? Discover. Ooh. Okay, that's to learn unique. more about the story behind the new Erinius Forest region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called The Wild Fairy of Erinius. Okay, so there's going to be another major world quest tied to this exploration. <gasps> gotcha. Really? Oh, then it would certainly be a world quest that you won't want to skip. <laughs> to the south of Erinius Forest, you'll find the Mort region. There. A singular tower stands tall above an island. That's in the a cool-looking tower. Perhaps it's also guarding some unspeakable secrets. Ooh. Mm. Actually, it looks like that's the very next stop on Farina's itinerary. So let's go check it out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. Yeah, I'm but so we couldn't reach for some reason. To check it out. Yes, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae Sea. Ooh. I know. Ooh. And <laughs> after unlocking four seals along its perimeter, the tower and its long buried secrets will be unveiled to us. Oh, amazing! Mm. Okay, it would feel great to finally. Is that Nuvolet's house? I don't think it is. Under <laughs> I don't think Nuvolet would be okay with us barding in this house. Yes. I want answers. Um, I also <laughs> we all want answers. Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the primordial sea. Mm. Mm. It seems like there's a very important and Lore. Very ancient story behind it all. That is very right. New stories are always unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below. And this is okay, not so for what I'm hearing, this is going to be like two update. major world Prophesied quests in this update. Woke up new life oh, yeah, other I do Talpula. Okay, I'm guessing you need to fight that for Karina's boss mats. Destinies! In certain underwater cave, new life forms. The human shaped monster found. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while in combat. So don't let your guard down, travelers. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> And some places still seem to tell the stories of events long past. Yeah, no that, that's one ugly looking motherfucker. <laughs> So, in this update, travelers can also look forward to the climax of the Narcissan Croix adventure quest line that was introduced. Oh, that's how you pronounce it? Narcissan Croix? And there might Hey, we finally get a conclusion to that. Hell yeah. A surprise waiting at the end. <laughs> what? A surprise! <laughs> I can't wait to see what it is. Same. All right, there's a lot to discover in the new areas of the map, but Farina's well, itinerary okay, that, that stop cave looks there. cool. Oh, wait. Explore Fontaine's like alleys and join in the fun. Time with her subjects. Aww. Hmm. Farina wow. is pretty personable. Who's to say? She might even make an appearance at the events taking place in Fontaine. Speaking what? of, oh? let's move on to the event portion. Whoop, whoop. All right. The Fontaine Fishing Association oh. has recently posted oh, a commission oh, to free investigate frame the rumors of water. Sweet. He, he just came out. Island. Wow. Ooh, They're already giving away a free frame I know. That's surprising. Oh. oh and Fremenet seems to be involved. That little clockwork penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. <laughs> I don't remember but the penguin being that big, though. Like I don't remember Actually, it being that huge. Actually, The name comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that lives underwater. Adults would use the story to keep children away from the shore. Hmm. As the story goes, children who play by the water are food for Thelxie to devour. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, for real. Ugh, well, children must be pretty afraid of that creature. I know, right? It does seem a little unusual for Fremenade to give this little penguin a name like that. <laughs> there must be um, some other reason. Wait, uh, hey, or maybe does just like penguins. Have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Mm. Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremenade make some improvements to this little clockwork penguin. There will be a total of three main stages to the event. Okay, the three acts. Stage, we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. Yep. In return, the little guy will help us out on our journey. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, <laughs> That's a cute looking UI. As our journey progresses, we'll collect colorful shells, corals, and other items which can be used to outfit our little friend with weapons and equipment. Which brings us to the second stage of the event, 
using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Okay, mm. exploration stage. And, uh, you know, what what happens if we run into certain speed bumps on our adventure? You, you kill know, them. like monsters. <laughs> you kill them. All that jazz. Well, it seems like the perfect opportunity you kill for your obstacles. That's that's, well, that's exactly. a way, that's a Genshin way. In the third stage of the event, the clockwork penguin oh, what the, will help oh, combat, us defeat monsters I'm lurking around a specific domain. <laughs> I love and how he has like a seashell shield. Of course, the clockwork penguin will provide different buffs in each battle to help. Oh, it actually helps us. Victorious. That's cute. Wow. <laughs> now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find out for themselves. Hey, yo, why are you Let's wait? See. After hey, this seems cursed. Penguins, Why are you using Ryan Shogun along with Nilu and Nahida? Is... No, that's cursed. Oh, the cute little fungi are back. Cool. Hania, oh, wait. A friend we Did met I? in Sumeru has arrived oh, shit. In they bring the... to promote little the fungus fungi's fungi's event again? Fiesta. Oh, and speaking of fun, guys, <laughs> I think I recognize some familiar faces. Oh, <gasps> Bongo head, it's time to shine! Yay! Hell yeah! I miss this Travelers event! Travelers may notice some differences in oh, this Oh, but it's at Fontaine this event. time. Aside ah. from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also been optimized. Previously, we led the little fungi in battle against Mechanicai. This time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Oh. Awesome. Travelers okay. will be able to command a yeah. variety of <laughs> Let's... fungi. Adjusting Let's not these fungi kill Scaramouche or something. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash powerful skills. I'm okay with this, yeah. actually. I, can, I like the fungi <laughs> like events. Enjoy playing with so I'm kind of glad this is coming back. Ever. Here's hoping. We uh, actually I have a little note here to pass Kill them, them the bongo friends. head. It's the note someone's holding. <laughs> well, they hope to make the little fungi and some other events permanent so travelers can play at any time, oh. the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. So they're going to continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event while also working hard to develop okay, wow. interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. So they're oh, planning yeah, to make this fungi thanks. thing permanent. All right. They're just not okay, ready let's or take just... A look at what else yeah, yeah, they're not just, just not ready to store. release it in the state oh, that it it's is. The graph adversarial Interesting. Technology experiment log. Oh, what the heck? I'm more than ready to fight Oh, is this, a, is this another photo taking event? Let me at him. It seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but it doesn't actually involve fighting. A researcher obsessed with graph Special analysis of zoom lens. Oh, did we get the ability to just zoom in with our camera? Finally? She believes that that's definitely a feature that's been missing from the camera success. gadget. But her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mmm, I'm guessing this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> but Colleen's request is actually pretty reasonable. To receive rewards, simply submit photographs of five different sample types oh, yep. that match the characteristic that's given on each day. Sounds simple enough. You can also exchange these samples with your friends. You might be able ah, to this find one, right. useful it's references like... for the samples yeah, that you need to yeah, collect I remember in the Adventure this. Archive. This was a previous event quest, as well. Travelers will receive a special gift from Pauline. Ooh. Mm. That's right. It's the zoom lens we mentioned during Charlotte's uh, character introduction. Yay! Oh, finally, fine. the simple feature has been to unlocked. Use it, just click the camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom lens can be attached to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, but if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap pics with zoom lens even while <laughs> You can view Farina can getting fucked in real time <laughs> by Double the seahorse. Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I bet <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Capture some amazing moments so Charlotte just lets you use a camera and mid-combat. even if you miss the chance I see. to participate in the event, there's no need to worry. Travelers will still be able to obtain the zoom lens after the event ends. That's good. <laughs> oh, it seems like oh. Farina has also Ah, Missy Dungeon Returns. Okay, this is also one of my <laughs> one of the events I really, really like. Travelers who master the ley line features and put together the strongest party. Yeah, I really like these dungeon crawler like uh, like challenges. Now less so yeah, this is definitely like a welcome myself, addition back to the game. Using trial characters and taking advantage of the buffs brought about by the ley line are also great ways to come out on top. Oh That's wait. Right. And travelers who are more confident in their combat skills can choose. Oh no, no, you're just going to dodge your domains. The final challenge. <laughs> also, the leyline overflow event hey, will return at the end of the Not like a leyline overflow of some sort. That sorts. might be the perfect time to start building your parties. 
Hopefully, you're all excited for the yes, grind your mora and your pure wits but for <laughs> for upcoming characters like Charlotte, Yay! or like uh, oh, like okay. Navi and Clorin, probably. Well, before we get into that, and maybe Skirk, <laughs> maybe Skirk is playable. Have a look at the final redemption code for today. See you in a bit. Yeah, I'm surprised okay. he never mentioned Skirk <laughs> or even Shoner. Yeah, we gotta look at that again, like the 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 trailer when it comes out again. And hey, there's your third redemption code, folks. That's all three redemption codes revealed so far, so be sure you claim them now before they expire. Okay, so this, yeah, this is a pretty solid stream so far. I definitely gotta watch that uh, trailer again. Yeah, I think I might stream like a bit longer after the, uh, the live stream ends, just to view that trailer once again. Just so we could see, uh... That, l that lady at the end of the trailer, which I'm assuming is Skirk. Man, what a good stream. And yeah, I'm all the more hyped for 4.2. Like, mainly for the story and also for pulling for Farina. Welcome back, travelers. Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems we've actually reached the end. Ah, uh, damn. So we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. While we're waiting to hear back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the upcoming Oh, version. sweet. Quality life let's changes. Let's get into it. Okay. So first up is the quick challenge feature for weekly bosses. Oh. New players or players who Oh, yeah. I think they talked about this in the dev notes. They have yet to unlock certain weekly bosses. And it's difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the boss drops needed to ascend a certain yeah. character. Yeah. Totally. True. In version 4.2, Travelers who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. So essentially, you can find a weekly boss without having to complete the challenge, a story Storm quest Terror or anything the to... The north. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. So if you've yet to play, play like the Apex boss or play Nahida story quest on like the Apex boss, you can just immediately go to the boss itself. That's good. Also, we're introducing an update to Genius Invocation TCG. In version 4.2, Three new character cards and five new action oh, cards. Oh, sweet! A Baiju, a Dory, and a Nila card. Dual feature, which sweet. Will provide a smoother gaming oh, yes, this is what I wanted. Pretty cool stuff. After the version, yes, you can put the dual on fast deck mode now. Sharing codes will also be available. Yes, Use yes, yes. I definitely will. Okay. Or take inspiration <laughs> now I might travel. play TCG a bit That's more cool. often now because awesome. they added in uh, and, you know, since the a speed of mode for TCG. Keeps increasing, yes. The number of decks a player can save has been increased from 10 to Oh, yeah. 20. Quick mode is definitely going to make me want to... Yeah, definitely want to make me play and TCG a bit addition, more. In addition, both the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased from 2 to 4. Double again. Nice. Double, double. The, deve <laughs> the developers have also made a number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heated battle mode and the Forge Realms Temper Endless Swarm will also return in version 4.2. As, as they usually do. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and oh, shit. exploration okay, they, courtesy oh, they of the Genshin Reunion project team. May those returning to Devat have a happy reunion. Aw, that's Aww. nice. Yeah. Plus, uh, a new so... story key privilege has also been added so that returning oh, travelers wow. can enjoy new story quests and hangout events. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Yo. Quest oh, thank goodness. <laughs> because I often switch in between like my phone and my unlocking story quests. Travelers and my uh, now get to PS5 often. To accept a story quest after oh yes, it. thank Whoa, you. Nice. Just so the and just so the story quests do not interfere or clash with each other. That that's a really really anymore. good change. <laughs> The so you don't start a story quest unless you absolutely want to. Quests even clear, and you don't need to like to store your keys in order to do so. That's awesome. That's good. Okay, great. Hey, those are some pretty solid oh, quality life changes. Like that's all we have for the latest version update. I still I want artifact uh, loadouts so. though. And you well. know more resin, oh, but you know yeah. those are okay changes <laughs> well, as well. There's so much exciting stuff happening, and um, I know personally, aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, I am personally very jazzed for the fun guy events. <laughs> yes, how can you? I'm hyped for the story. They keep on adding so much cool stuff to this game for it, me. It's I love like the idea. Can cut Farina's head off, era. which I hope doesn't um, but, happen, uh, but at the same time, I'm quite intrigued. We are here for the melusines. <laughs> uh, well, this has been so much fun with both of you. I'm really grateful we could all be here today together. 
And um, honestly, I'm just really glad that we're going to get to see how all these mysteries unfold. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll have a nice ending in 4.2. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, but that's <laughs> it for the version 4.2 special program. Thank you so much, everybody. And see you all in game. Bye. 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 All right, that was a really good live stream. Oh, dear traveler. Oh, your audience of with the goddess of justice, uh, Regina of many. Your point my time is November eight twenty. Oh, is that when the four point two update is gonna come? Ah, that's that's probably it. I think. So in five days, we're getting four point two. I see. I see. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the four point two live stream. All right, yeah, this this was definitely this was definitely a W stream. It had so many, so many good things going for it. But the story, the banners, uh, the fucking events. I uh, yeah, I, I'm excited for all the events to return, honestly. And also, you know, the, the new areas, the weapons, and just pretty much. Yeah, and, now, and also, you know, the quality of life changes are a very, very welcome addition as well. And, but yeah, this, this is looking to be a W patch, and I cannot wait to play it on November eighth when it does eventually come out. Okay, what is November eighth again? Um, that's on Wednesday. Okay, so that works just nice. So on Monday I'll be streaming Star Rail to continue with that, and then on Wednesday I'll be playing uh the four point two update, and then we're gonna be there day one. Yeah, summon for Farinas, like you know, farmer materials and everything, and and yeah, also play the Arkham Quest as well. So cannot wait for that. Cannot wait until 4.2 arrives. Okay, I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, let me go to YouTube and see if they uploaded the 4.2, like, trailer. There it is. So yeah, let's let's watch it again. And I don't know, do like a little frame-by-frame frame analysis of it. Yeah. Also, we have subtitles this time, just so we could uh, know what's going on. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's watch this trailer again, because it's truly, truly something hype. The Hydro are come to be punished by a... The death sentence. Yeah, what the new Burnett. What the fuck? Why are you sentencing Farina to death? Why? Why why is he doing that? Like as soon as he said that, you it's just like, I oh shit. There may be issues with the primordial sea. Like Every what the hell are we getting it ourselves into? We happened to be close to the water, didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Are people dissolving God's already? All powerful. What's done is done. Just trust me. <laughs> She's like picking out her a dessert from the, like her little Ferris wheel. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. Oh damn! This this music is is really really bopping. <laughs> I like how she's like somewhat dancing as she fights, and then like, she can summon like a fucking ocean in. <laughs> Yeah, she basically let, lets her companions do the work. <laughs> hey, and there's Charlotte. <laughs> Fighting literally with the camera by taking pictures of the enemy. <laughs> She's like, damn, we're just just catch him in 4K and kill them. <laughs> I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. Hmm. Wait a minute. Something ominous about getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. Uh, that's Navia, right? For some reason, I thought that was that's Mona speaking. It's it sounds like Mona, but I don't think it is. I think I think it's Navia speaking. I guess her voices just sound super super similar. That's just me. Let's continue. But yeah, does not does court does not be fucking yes, get into primordial but water? To will be fulfilled. I, Marina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning Do of not justice. This judgment is With fair. Oh jeez, people are arguing. You, you have never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself Your to be. No God. more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? So so long. Why did you deceive us? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's not good. This isn't right. Yeah, this fucking shot. You want to see fucking heartbroken about something? <laughs> I I found the feeling this story quest is gonna be extremely fucked in ways we probably couldn't predict. Yeah, and the hat falling as well. Uh. 
Uh, that's... Yeah, I, I really hope Farina doesn't fucking die or something in the quest. That, that'd be really, really fucking traumatizing. The true purpose behind this position. Oh, yep, and the fucking whale is free somehow. And Chow is fighting it. Everyone's dead. Papa, what should I do? Papa, oh shit. Oh wait, that's Navi speaking. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Who, who is this? She looks like a Honkai character. She looks like fucking Jing Liu from Star Rail, except yeah, she, she actually does look a lot like Jing Liu. Okay, I'm guessing, if I had to guess, as I said before, this is probably Skirk, Child's master. At least that's what I think. Because there's no way Child will bring up Skirk in the Arkham Quest and have her not show up, right? So yeah, I definitely think this is Skirk. Holy sh- look, look at that design, though. Oh yeah, and look at all the black lines around her. I'm guessing she, I, I'm I'm somewhat guessing she's like has some sort of abyss element to her or something. Yeah, she really does look a lot like Jing Liu from Star Rail. Holy shit! <laughs> When's she getting on the banner? When can I pull for When can I pull for Skirk here? Because I do I do really 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 want her. <laughs> her her design looks fucking sick. And yeah, that's all you get of her. Just that two second shot of her, and that's it. Oh my god, okay, and judging- and because she's in this trailer, I'm guessing we're gonna meet her in Act 5 of the Arkham Quest, but still. Oh, holy shit. I, I cannot wait to fucking meet her in the story. I wonder- I really, really wonder what she would like. And yeah, I do hope she becomes, she becomes playable. I suppose this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent oh, yeah, and, that's how it and ends. dramatic trial. With Fontaine being thoroughly drowned. I'm not sure if it's a vision or if it's actually come to pass. I, I, I feel like it's a vision. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Actually, wait a minute. All will eventually Wait, is this end in a magnificent Egeria? and trial. Oh, maybe, maybe this, is, this is the Fontaine of the past, because I think, yeah, old Fontaine did drown in, like, the, the waters, and then they had to ele elevate all the buildings uh, when Farina became Archon to, uh, to make sure the people survived. And I'm guessing this is Egeria, the old Hydra Archon speaking. At least I assume so. I suppose this would also be yeah, because it sounds like Farina, but not really. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's Agiria. Like, yeah, the, the old Hydra Archon that died. And yep, these are the events you can play. Okay, now that was a super hype trailer. And it seemed like like almost the entirety of Fontaine is just against Farina. And then yeah, you have to fight the fucking whale that Child sees at the end, which is uh definitely gonna be concerning. If it's uh trying to like, you know, drown Fontaine. And yeah, fucking fucking Skirk. I I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that's Skirk until like we get confirmation that somebody else or something. But yeah, Skirk's design looks fucking sick. Yeah, J Jing Liu is now in uh, Genshin Impact, everybody. And yeah, this is the, the narwhal boss with the Shadow Husk Protector inside of its belly or something. I'm not sure why there's a Shadowy Husk inside protecting, like, uh, its belly, but... I guess, yeah. Play the Arkham Quest and find out. Which we will do on Wednesday, when the 4.2 update does eventually drop. Holy shit. I cannot wait for that. Cannot wait until 4.2 comes out. But yeah, guys, I think that'll do it for the 4.2 special program watch party as of right now. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe today so you don't miss any videos or streams from me. And also be sure to leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts on the 4.2 live stream. And yeah, guys, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys again in the next one. Take care and have a good night. And I'll see y'all again. Uh, on Monday, <laughs> or see you again on Wednesday if you want to see me play the 4.2 update. I'm so excited. I'll be definitely be playing for free in a day one. So yeah, be sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when my streams go live. But yeah, well, that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, 
And hope to see you guys again in the next one.